Hello everybody guys, welcome back to a new quick video. I'm Giselle, I'm 18, and today's video is going about me being scared of the dark. So, yes, you heard me. I'm scared of the dark and I'm 18. I don't <laughs> Um, I'm lame. It's okay, guys, I promise, I'm okay. Um, so, this is going to be just a very small, quick story time. A, I only have seven minutes on my memory card, so I'm going to get this out. But, um, really quickly, I did want to say that I do have that vlog that I'll be putting up, but I have to finish editing it. I've just been really tired and not feeling too good lately, so I'm trying. I really am. But, um... Let's just jump right into this. So, I have been scared of the dark for as long as I can freaking remember. Don't ask what my hair is doing. I don't know. But, here recently, it's been kind of getting, like, really bad. So, I had my big light off. And I just had these lights on. Well, the other half kind of went out. And what's weird is it, like, switched back and forth. So, these lights would go out on this side. And then they would go out on the other side, the side that's out right now. Well, it seems like the lights are just burning out more and more. And you can tell they're burning out because, well, yeah, they're kind of, like, charred. So, um, I mean, I've had them for about four months now, maybe. I got them in December. So, January, February, March, April... Three. Oh, that's sad. I've had them for about, well, yeah, three or four months now. So, they started going out here recently. <clears throat> and I was sitting, playing Sims. Hmm, I don't want to shake my room. But, um, as you can see, I'm playing Sims. My Sim is pregnant and she's currently in labor. So, I have them at the hospital. She's with her girlfriend. Her girlfriend's kind of freaking out in that pre parental mode. And <clears throat> I'm chilling, and like I said, I have my overhead light on, and just these lights are on. And all of a freaking sudden, those lights right there go out. So I'm left completely in the dark with only my laptop screen light shining on me. Like, it's not shining out there, it's just shining on me. And I'm sitting here like, minding my business, and then boom, darkness, and I start freaking out. I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god, Giselle, calm down. It's okay. You're not gonna die. You might die, but not right now. Giselle, chill. Because I think of scary thoughts as soon as I see the dark. As soon as it's like a freaking light switch in my head that's just like, okay, the darkness is on. Scary thoughts. Now. Go. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's terrifying is what it is. But, um, yeah, as soon as those, as soon as these lights went boom, as soon as they were off, my mind was like, yeah, scary thoughts, now, activate. And I'm just like, can you just, like, leave me alone? Like, I'm trying to do my thing, and you're just scaring the pee out of me. Not literally. Figuratively. Just saying. But yeah, so, um, I'm sitting here, like, crying inside, and then about, I want to say, a minute later, they turn back on, and I put down my computer, I run over to my light switch and I turn my big light on and I'm just like, I gotta make a story time about this because I'm 18 and I'm scared of the dark and I just had the crap scared out of me for like a minute. It was like really scary too. I don't like, yeah, no. I have another story time that also involves the dark so I might include it real quick. So I went to go on a walk because I was really upset. Now mind, it's probably around one o'clock in the morning. I also have insomnia, but I was like really upset with my boyfriend and um, I went to go take a walk and he was here by the way. I didn't know it, but he was here. <laughs> um, I thought he went to go leave with my mom and my brother and my cousin. So um, yeah, I went to go take a walk because I was really upset and I was walking down my street and all of a sudden this huge animal, like I'm walking and I'm looking up at the stars because I love stars. Stars are beautiful. I'm looking at the stars, taking in the fresh air and all of a sudden I hear a bag rustling and I'm just like, no, whatever. It's probably just a bag blowing in the wind. I turn and um, as I'm turning around to go back home because I don't want to go out too far, 
I look to my right and there's this huge animal. I'm not talking about like huge, but it's the size of a medium dog. And it's not a dog, it has like a raccoon face. But it's the size of a dog. <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh. So I named it a Rakog. R-A-C-O-G-G. -G. It's a Rakog. And I have been scared to go out in the dark ever since. <laughs> I stayed inside for a couple of days, but I ran for my life. And um, my boyfriend was outside at the time and he saw me running back. He was like, okay, so when did you turn black? By the way, he's light skinned. He's half white, half black, so it's not racist. But he's like, when did you turn black and start running track? You see that shit? It's scary, okay? Don't fucking try and change my mind. I'm scared of the dark and you can't change that. I might just unplug that because it's scaring me too much. I don't like it when lights flicker. It scares me. I think of demon stuff. God, Jesus, please don't say that, Giselle. I love you. Aww. But, um, yeah. So, as I was saying, we were run. Well, I was running and he was like, when did you turn black and start running track? And I was like, I just ran for my life and I about died halfway here. I'm not in shape at all. Oh, so I plan on getting in shape so I can run for my life. <laughs> but yeah, so I only have like a tiny bit of black in me, like literally one sixteenth. So it's not a lot, but it's just enough to be like, Pew. but yeah, so that's pretty much my two stories in one video. Ooh, you're welcome. No, that's probably, you're probably like, really, dude? Like you could have made these separate videos, but hey, you get what you get. I'm sorry. <laughs> So yeah, also make sure to subscribe, should be somewhere around this area. Make sure to also check out the last video that I posted. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Also, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!